Dancehall star Cynthia Morgan, now going by the name Madrina, is back on the music scene with new projects in her kitty. On today's Spotlight, she talks about a former record label and how they made her adopt the wild persona which brought her a lot of criticism. What do you want from me? Digging inside and leave her to my soul. One year after the release of her In Love music video and subsequent holiday from the music scene, dancehall star Cynthia Morgan makes a comeback. Announcing a return with a brand new music video released under a new alias Madrina and under her own music imprint, the Cynthia Morgan Company, all these she says she was working on well away. I was working on a lot of stuff. You know, apart from music and you know stuff, um, as an entertainer, sometimes you just need um, some time for yourself. You know, to restructure, rebrand, re-strategize whatever you what you're doing. Her absence from social media, events, and airwaves was noticed by fans and celebrities like rave actress Adesu Itomi, who tweeted at her over 58,000 followers. Morgan says her unique identity as a human and an entertainer gave her confidence to withdraw from the limelight. Formerly signed to Northside Entertainment, led by Jude Okoye, Morgan's name had popped up during the drawn-out battle between the Okoye brothers, including music duo Peter and Paul Okoye of the Peace Square fame. I like Peace Square, obviously, and um, I would never, I never thought they would ever <laughs> be a part, you know, obviously, but you know, we're not God, so, you know, I'm, I'm sure everything happens for a reason. If they're happier being a part, and then so, so be it. Um, for me, for me, it didn't have anything to do with me. I'm, I, I take responsibility for my own my career, my projects. Whatever happens, it's, it's in the past, actually. So now um, it's, it's a new phase, it's a new era for me. You know, I don't really bother myself. Whatever happened is in the past, actually. And on a separation from the label. Uh, my contract, actually, truthfully, um, for the first time, my contract actually expired um, last year, um, August, like legally, because I signed for four years. Um, but even before then, we were obviously already apart because a lot of things actually went wrong with the deal, you know, obviously, you know. But I don't like to, that's their personal, that's the way, that's, that's who they are, that's, that's their personal, I, I'm, I'm not supposed to talk about them. You know, so I, my business, the business didn't really go well, but I'm grateful I'm here today. And then I have another opportunity to do my stuff and what I love doing, which is music or, you know, just being myself and, you know, creativity in the whole, in, in general, whatever it is. So that's what it is. A new alias, Madrina, represents a new era for a career, which she now has more creative and business control over. Morgan hints that she can now dispose the wild persona she once had. I'm Cynthia Morgan. That's still my legal name. But um, I, Cynthia Morgan was, was an artist, you know, I was with a label, um, a lot of opinions, oh, you have to be crazy, you have to wear the red hair thing, because you do dance, because I'm, I'm a very energetic person, my music is super energetic. So at first, when I started music, because I'm, I'm naturally a very chilled person, I don't, if there's no reason to be energetic, then there's no, you know, I'm not performing, I'm not working, you know, that's, that's for stage and, you know, that's for work. So um, they were like, no, you know, as entertainers, I think you really need to look crazy. You need to sound like, you need to look like what you sound like, you know, it's just crazy. And at that point, I wasn't the one investing in my project, so I have to listen, you know. So I had started the red hair thing. It's like, oh, you have to be <laughs> crazy. Okay, and then I'm like, okay, how crazy? Because like, naturally, um, I'm not a crazy person. You get me? But I'm, I'm, I'm musically inclined you know, what people, like creativity and stuff like that. So like, okay, it's like a facade, you know, whatever. People don't come into your house to see 
who you are or whatever you I'm like okay so they're gonna buy this but I'm not Nicki Minaj because a lot of times they're like oh you see they try to compare you with all this all this other people forgetting the fact that you you're you're a person on your own and um I'm not like um someone that you know is like a decoration or whatever it is you know so I'm like okay cool it's like me acting you know so and then you know I took I took up the nose ring thing I took up the red hair thing a lot of hair and stuff you know but I laugh at people a lot because I see every a lot of things on the internet people say stuff I'm like okay but these people don't even know me you only know my songs you don't know me but you don't know what I'm going through you don't know why I have to do this you know you know in Nigeria and in, in, in semi industry in general like it seems like you have to be like an attention seeker or whatever for people to listen to. I have the music. I don't have to seek any seek any attention and whatever. So when I left the label, that's the differentiation. Madrina and Cynthia Morgan. Her new video, Billion Dollar Woman, she says, celebrates women and marks her return to the industry amidst reports of legal battles she's facing for some financial troubles, including tax evasion. Morgan denies these. That was a lie too. Um, the only... The only time there was like, I am, um, I would say my lawyer is handling that, actually. My lawyer is handling that. Though it was a whole misunderstanding. The, is it a tax, tax evasion? They, they were taxing Cynthia Morgan, obviously. Um, that's my label. That's my formal label because, like, they have all the money with them if you want to tax Cynthia Morgan. And I think the labor is legal, so obviously they pay tax. So, I, you know... I think generally people don't just find, I've seen a lot of stuff about myself on the internet. Um, I've seen people saying I, I watch an, an amount of money, you know, people just say stuff. So I think it's obviously one of those things that people just do without like um, 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 documentations or proper documentations. They don't find it. And you know the press, who did you confirm the news from before you put it out online? People just want to sell bad news about anybody that's popular has got a name for themselves you know and, and doing stuff for themselves so like i'm used to it obviously entry into the spotlight as a teenager morgan has had a fair share of controversies which she says she's prepared for pretty much um at a very tender age like when i was really young i already had like um a vision of who i am or who i'm going to be in the future so i was ready for every step every time and i'm a christian you know <laughs> I don't think there's anybody that's, that's ever been crucified like Christ. So, and th that's why the Bible is there. You always have people to, you always have the Bible to run back to and be like, oh, this is going on with me. Somebody's been through it before. So, obviously, um, it's just that way we, we're on a journey, we're on, on our different journeys. And what it is, is being, make, making it an impact in the world. You know, you don't leave it the same way you met it. You get me? So, uh, I, I understand that people talk. It's really, it's really normal. Run from me, or may I go run up on you next time the traffic come to get billion dollar woman. Yeah, if you never knew it before, yeah, yeah, we'll learn it sooner. Fortune is up and out of here, if you're a billion dollar woman. Yeah, if you never knew it before, yeah, yeah, we'll learn it Cynthia Morgan, now to be called Madrina, is currently working to release an album later this year. You're ready now. Bodies, number one, worldwide.